the V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now. What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for the Spider S&P 500 ETF trust with the ticker symbol SPY. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here we have the daily chart for the SPY, but, 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 but before I begin, I do have a course sale running right now. Only a few days left. Uh, Tuesday is the last day to get my course at 50% off. So let's take a look at the daily chart for the SPY. Last time I did my analysis was back on, looks like Friday, well it was Sunday, but Friday the market closed at the 409.48 level. So prices went up, sold off a little bit, and it looks like it, it could be going higher or we could see a little pullback. So either way, it does look still uh, bullish in my opinion. So let's go and put the overall pattern on the chart. So it looks like prices are range bound. It looks like we're finding resistance here at the 410 level. However, um, this could be moved higher. You can see that we also were finding resistance at the 416 level, 416, 417 level. So the range highs could be a little higher instead of right here. Um, so that could be a trick uh, for traders and they might get trapped thinking we're at the highs of the range. And you can see that there was a little resistance found. Uh, but if the highs are range, uh, if the highs of the range are here, then we can still go a little bit higher before finding um, a larger pullback. So we can leave it like this. This fits pretty good against the price action. Uh, either way, prices are still inside of this uptrend channel. So probably not the best idea to go short or see prices fall down because of this channel uh, being in play. Uh, so it looks like it's targeting a measured move uh, up to this level right here. This is the first leg higher. This is the second leg higher and the measure we target is right around the 423, 424 level. I'll mark that with um, a trend line and I'll go and circle it. So this looks like the area that prices are attempting to reach. And also if you do a really large measure move with this one right here, this one is targeting a little bit higher right at the 437 level. So uh, we'll see if that one can be reached. Uh, but the first one is the 423, 424 level. So as right now, it looks like bulls are still bidding up the price. Uh, you can see that prices are above the EMA and um, it looks pretty bullish. Uh, you can see that if the range highs are right about here, then prices came up short on the bottom side, which shows signs of strength for the bulls. Even if it is moved up, I mean, that's moved up uh, quite a bit and we still came up a little bit short. So either way, it looks pretty good for the bulls. I think we see higher prices next week. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get a new high of this uptrend next week or we're going to see a little pullback first to the uh, bottom of the channel in the EMA and then higher prices. But either way, it still looks pretty bullish. Um, what would make me change my mind is we see a large push down, maybe something like this, and then a small correction up to get a second leg down. So that would ch make me change my mind. As right now, that has not occurred. I'm not uh, expecting that to occur. I think the market is still bullish and it looks like um, higher prices can be obtained. So I think the range highs are a little bit higher uh, instead of being at the 410 level. The 410 level still would work. Uh, we won't know until you know the future passes. Uh, but as right now, I'd be, I think the range highs are a little bit higher at the 416, 14, 416 to 417 level. Uh, so it looks like prices can go a little bit more higher before seeing a, probably a bigger pullback um, or unless it reaches this measurement target. Either, either way, uh, prices are still inside the yellow channel and I think we're going to probably see higher prices. Let's take a look at the weekly chart for the SPY. Here is the weekly chart and you can see that this is the ranging pattern right about here. something like this. And we do have a downtrend pattern, something like this right here. So we have a ranging pattern, we have a trending pattern, uh, and prices are 
looking to go a little bit more higher but we can't forget about the macro pattern which is still down so you can see that there was this uptrend green channel prices broke outside of it it made one attempt higher usually the market will make two attempts and this is the second attempt higher so the second attempt higher is trying to reach that 423 424 level uh, but we do have this range resistance um, that is going to be a strong um, level uh, the price need to break through but either way it is resistance now if we look at the uh, entire structure you can see how you can see that we have a downtrend and then the first break was right here and this is the first attempt lower and we're pulling back and we're probably gonna make a second attempt lower and the second attempt usually is the larger one uh, so just like how the bulls had this micro uptrend a break and two legs higher the bears have this medium size to macro uh, downtrend with the break and only one leg down uh, so the bears still have one more chance uh, to uh, drop down the price after this pullback is met and that's probably the real move after this uh, smaller stuff plays out and then if we even zoom in a little bit more we can see another uh, larger pattern uh, is this uptrend right here so you can see that prices uh, broke outside of this uptrend right here and it made a, a few attempts higher failed uh, but we can still see uh, Two larger attempts after this uh, downtrend is played out so um, you know I'm still looking for higher prices for the spy you know um, in the next couple of years uh, but as of right now prices are still trading sideways it's correcting I don't think this correction phase is over just yet it looks like we could probably see higher prices for the spy looking for a breakout of this range to the 423 424 level before a possible another leg down so let's uh, keep an eye on that level and I'll give you guys an update next week, Sunday. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel. Since you might be surprised at what you can learn, leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. And lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.